Today we will be showing you how to replace the picker assembly in a storage tech L180, L700, and L1400 tape library. This replacement will require downtime and should be scheduled with the system administrator. Please note, we will be showing you how to do this replacement with an L180 library, but the replacement for the L700 and L1400 is the same. To begin, you will need to power down your tape library. To do this, locate the AC power distribution units and flip the switches to the off position. Then, use your front door access key and open the front door to the library where you receive the picker assembly. First, you will need to spin the picker around so that you can see the ribbon cables that go to the picker. These will need to be unhooked from the underside of the picker assembly. To do this, squeeze both sides of each connector simultaneously to release it from the bottom of the picker. Once both cables are unhooked, you can also undo the clip that holds them and carefully pull them out of the way. Now you will need to remove the four screws that hold the picker in place. There will be one on each side of the rear of the picker and two on the top of the picker. Once these are all removed, you can take hold of the picker with one hand and the vertical axis mount with the other and carefully lift the picker off the vertical axis mount and set it to the side. You are now ready to install the replacement picker assembly. Carefully take the replacement picker and lower it into place on the vertical axis mount, ensuring that the two pins that hold the picker on the mount are in place in the two notches on the top of the picker. Then secure the picker to the mount with the four screws you removed earlier. Finally, reconnect the two ribbon cables to the underside of the picker and clip them into place. Close and lock the front door of the library and then flip the AC power distribution units to the on position. The library will now initialize. You should be able to see the picker assembly moving around inside the library during the initialization phase. Once the library is fully initialized, ensure there are no errors in the library and then you should be ready for production. We strongly recommend running an inventory on the library from your backup software to ensure full robotics operation before starting any backups. If you are having any issues with your picker replacement, please contact us directly. If your machine is subscribed to Rocket Plus, please open a ticket through your Rocket Plus customer portal. If not, we may still be able to help you. Please contact us at support at therocketplatform.com and we will respond as quickly as possible. Thanks for watching. This has been another video by the Top 10 USA Video Production Team. We look forward to sharing more content with you going forward, so please check out our YouTube channel and please subscribe so that you get notified whenever we release a new piece of content.